us too. Yeah. Okay, are yeah. we on? You're hey. on. Hi. It's makeup day. I used to love when I was a little girl to play with my sister's makeup. Uh, it's horrible having a little sister. <laughs> and I was the little sister. How many of you were little sisters? And she having those few years on me. I don't I dare not say how many years because I always get it wrong and then she yells at me because big sisters can do that. I love her dearly, by the way. Um, but she had makeup before me, and so not only did I sneak her bras and her high heels, I uh, also would sneak her makeup and then say that I didn't. And she'd go, you did too, I can see, you don't put the tops on. So anyway, it's ironic that all these years later I'd be in the makeup business. I don't know if you saw what I posted, um, I think it was yesterday on Monsanto and the lawsuits um, having to do with their weed killer roundup. But what I was really interested in were the responses from all of you and how many of you feel that um, you've been severely affected by chemicals in your life. And that is what the draw is of all of us together. I really try to live as chemical free a life as I possibly can. And uh, it starts with the skin because, you know, I sound like a broken record, but your skin is the largest organ in your body and it's got all these pores in it and everything goes into those pores. So if you're putting cosmetics and makeup and skin care on your skin, it's gonna end up in your bloodstream. Then it's gotta figure out where to go. And once, it, once it's inside you, it goes, well, I gotta first go into the GI tract. I can wreak a little havoc there. How many of you have stomach problems? Mm -hmm. I know a lot of you, me too. And um, so the chemicals build up in the GI tract, and then here I go again, broken record, they eat through the barrier wall, and they leak out, leaky gut, and now it's in your bloodstream, and now it goes on its little rampage. Does it wanna go to the thyroid, or the thymus, or the, uh, you know, the adrenals, or the pancreas? Don't want it to go there, or where it really wants to go up here to the brain. And um, it's interesting, one of the hormones that I'll be talking about in the next book is a, a new hormone they found that literally wakes up your brain that gets lazy from having toxins in your brain so that you can readjust your pituitary so you can start sleeping again. There's a lot of great things coming up. What does that have to do with makeup today? Nothing but everything because this is our chemical free, toxin free, beautiful makeup line which I have on my face right now and I only use these uh, flawless finish uh, makeup and I actually use all the colors depending like right now I don't have any tan at all so I use the uh, medium today normally I use the dark bronze because I like to have a tan but when I have no 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 tan at all this gets a little dark on dark these. bronze all the way to the right one more. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry you this one this one so we I guess have two I, mediums now. Oh, okay. Remember we added. Oh right. Well, sand. I think I'm the the um, honey. darker medium, which is honey. 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 You can honey. see the colors here. I did a little. Yeah. Color okay. swap. So this is the one I have on today. Honey. And when I've got a little bit of color, like when I'm at the beach, I wear the dark bronze. Mm -hmm. um, but there have been days when I've put the porcelain on. Um, I've had these red cheeks for a while. I now know why. And that will be in my next book because all of you who have those red cheeks, you're going to want to know how to get rid of them. The hint is it starts in the stomach. Everything starts in the stomach. Hey, um, since we're on this graphic, uh -huh. this fancy, fancy graphic here, <laughs> um, and it says free gift. Oh, yeah. Do you want to show them what the free gift is today? This is the free gift. It's a good one. This is the multi-stick. Let me see if I can Ooh, put God, it on without that. screwing everything up. It's just... Cheeks, lips, eyes, ladies. Just a beautiful. You know what it does? It, it makes you look like you don't have any makeup on because it gives a little healthy glow, gives a, like a little, because I have red cheeks, I've been really cutting back on my um, blush, but this is kind of really nice. There, don't I look nice? Hmm? It's, like a, it's like summer in a stick. Summer in yeah. a stick. It's called sunrise. The summer, the color, summer stick. The, it's, a, it's called sunrise. So free, free. Yeah, you just spend fifty dollars on anything at Suzanne Summers. Plus, I see twenty five percent off, and then you get the free multi. -stick, yeah, twenty five percent so. off cosmetics. So twenty five percent off the cosmetics category. We do have a promo code. It's makeup twenty um, five. But anything you buy on the site, if you get up to fifty dollars, you're going to get that free gift because Suzanne likes giving you free gifts. We uh, have fun with this um, new little business we have, which is not so little. There are 
quite a few of you out there. What happened? Nothing, just, oh. you know, rinky-dink production. Oh, no, but it's the best kind of production. Yep. Because my production costs are so low, nothing's passed on to you. Because I have no middleman, nothing's passed on to you. All we have to do is between you and me and um, how we can all benefit and I can stay in business and bring you all this nice stuff. I have a question from Tammy. She wants to know if the multi-stick is good for people with fair skin. Yeah, really good. And uh, I wish one of my granddaughters were here with their perfect flawless skin and see, then you can really see the color. But I like what it's just done for me right here. Yeah, but it's a, this is a very neutral, all of Suzanne's makeup is super neutral, guys, mm -hmm. but just so you can see, this is, um, this goes on very sheer, and it's great with all skin tones, really. That's why we did, you know, we try to find things that are a uni universal when we're yep. doing a gift or a yep. promo. It's a very universal color. So this morning, I got up, oh, I slept so great last night. Both Alan and I, were, you know, it takes a long, yeah. Does it show up on dark skin? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. It has a little shimmer in it. Caroline uh, is uh, mostly Italian, and so she got that. She's. It's not that she's dark. She just has that Italian skin. It's. It's a couple of shades darker than mine, and it shows up beautifully on her. Yes, but like, really mean, nice. This would. This works all the way. Uh, this would would work with every skin tone. Yeah. So um, dark, much darker than mine. You know, we we kind of avoid saying nude because everyone's idea of nude is different. Yeah. You know, everyone's idea of flesh is different. There by are the many way, different skin tones. By the way, speaking of nude, you know when you, I do my Facebook Live in my office and I've got the university body model behind me, who was it that uh, uh, tagged? Oh, well, we, 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 <laughs> we were posting that video. You know, after we do the Facebook Lives, we always post them so that you guys can reference back to these videos. But it has to go through a, an approval process at Facebook and Instagram. And because of the anim, anatomic model behind Suzanne, i.e. boobs, the first note back was like, we can't post this because of the nudity. Nudity. It said nudity. Yeah. So. These are plastic boobs on a university <laughs> uh, medical body model. I think we've gone a little too far, yeah, don't so you? This Jeez. is hashtag free the nipple. Yeah. <laughs> free the nipple on the anatomical model. Yeah. I, yeah by the way, there's only one because um, on my body model, it's got one exterior and then the other one is like the skin is off so you can see all the mammary glands and everything so I can study it so it was one nipple yeah yeah you know Janet Jackson <laughs> um, so Juliet would like to know how this is for sensitive skin oh and I'm what your does friend. toxic free mean I'm your friend sensitive if you got any kind of you know agitated skin this is what you want this makeup, I don't recommend it, but it's so good for you that if you wore it to bed, it would be okay. Don't do it, because you want your skin to breathe at night. You want to put all our beautiful skin creams on. But I admit there have been nights when I come home and I'm just too tired. Rare, but I wake up and I don't feel bad other than mascara. <laughs> you never want to sleep in mascara. No, yeah. Not <laughs> ever, ever, ever. That just feels like somebody dumped a garbage can on your, on your eyes. How do I know? Because I've done it. But... Um, this makeup is called Flawless Finish because it is. I've got it all over my face today. And the found she's talking about the foundation, guys. Yep, yep. Here's the foundation. I love, I love Flawless Finish. It's the only makeup I use. I have some spots on my hands still, which I'm taking. I'm taking for spots, Dr. Wright told me, Bilberry uh, uh, supplements and Hawthorne. And he said, that'll get rid of spots. I don't sell that, but Bilberry and Hawthorne for spots. Anyway, spots are icky. Spots, spots, I talk about a lot in the next book. And Caroline says, don't keep talking about the next book because they'll think they know what's in it. And there's so much, but um, I know no one's... you know, now they're saying January. In January. It is January. Um, I, I, I think everybody's got a problem with spots, and I now know where they come from. And I now know how you can get rid of them besides Bilberry and Hawthorne, but you have to wait to come till January. <laughs> Don't you want the book? I know. Now you're just going to piss people off. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> it's you who told me not to talk about it so much. She said, you'll give it all away. She's it's so jam. It. <laughs> it's just so jam packed. I turned in a manuscript that was 1300 pages long. Now I use white, you know, big font and wide margins, but still. Um, I can't wait for this book. My editor's it's probably going great. Eh. Okay, but back to makeup Back today. to makeup. All so, right. listen, Suzanne has um, a complete line of organic makeup. Um, she uses 
natural colors from oranges and cranberries. Yeah, and look at look, yeah. These are look at this blush. This is the uh, Coral Crush, one of my favorites. We use raspberries, uh, pomegranate, oranges. We use the colors from nature. Don't you love that whole idea? And and the color is just so beautiful. I'll I have some, your brushes there. I'll put some on. That's the contour brush if you care. But. Uh. So for those of you who want to know what Suzanne is wearing right now, today she said she's wearing the Honey Foundation. Yep, honey. Honey Flawless Finish Foundation, 25% right. off today. She is wearing the Coral Crush. No, no, it's right next. The Coral Crush is right next to the one. I know. That's not the one you like. That's Antique Rose. Oh, right, right. Here's the Coral Crush. Yes. Which I already have some on, but I'll put some more on. So she has on the Coral Crush blush and lipstick. And she also uses the Honey Glow, which is behind you. That's Caramelized Peach. I like Caramelized Peach, too. I put your two favorites up front. Yeah, I like that. And then I always like to layer, put a lighter one. Isn't that a nice color? Beautiful. It's a nice color. And, and again, Suzanne's again, colors are neutrals, so they, they really fit a wide variety of skin tones. If you only buy one thing of all this makeup, buy this or this. Okay, this is the lighter version. This is the uh, perfect concealer. You have the in concealer the here in medium, and you have the eye primer. Right. And if you want the um, light, you can get it in the little uh, pot, can't you, today? I'm, I am I don't know why they didn't send one, but yeah. it comes in the this, light. This comes medium. in light or dark, so you can get whatever you want. But this is how I start my day. Even if I'm not going to wear makeup, I always, always take the red out from right around here. That's like such an anti-aging thing to do. And you just and always bring a little bit right down the middle of your nose. And then I've got a couple of spots on my face, so I cover them up. Marcella would like to know, Marcella would like to know, does the foundation sink into fine lines and pores? You know what it does? It, yes, it does sink in, but creates like a barrier on the top. You don't look, you don't look, it doesn't, sometimes when you see women outside with makeup on, and you, their lines look exaggerated. This softens the lines. This fills and plumps up. It, it's the, it's on, honestly just incredible makeup. It's like a moisturizer that blends into your skin. Yeah, yeah. And it, it blends with your own pigment. So that's why Suzanne's colors really match a wider variety of tones. It's not an artificial color that's sitting on top of the skin. Yeah. And I think that's why our foundation is one of our number one bestsellers. Um, and I think that's why. Because it blends so smoothly with your skin tone. Right. Like I can wear like really the first three colors and they're all kind of fine because they blend absolutely, so much into absolutely. the skin tone. And I find when I put on, um, you know, I have different um, of our products that I use in, at different times. Like right now, my thing is I put on the brightener, then I put on the liquid oxygen, then I put on the glutathione, then I put the radiance, uh, I think it's coconut moisture serum. I don't know, those are the four I'm liking right now. That primes my skin and it makes it all soft and dewy, and then I put the flawless finish over. What's interesting about it, it's not thick or greasy or anything, it just sort of sits there, and it, it's very youthful, very youthful, because you got all that moisture underneath, and then this color sits on the top and goes into the pores, and sort of, it sort of makes everything look smoother. Well, Elena would like to know about the eyeshadows. She said, something has been done to all the shadows on the market, and it's made me allergic. Well, not this. Uh, are you allergic to bamboo powder? No, no. Um, there's there's nothing in here that's going to hurt you at all. This is this is this is clean makeup. And just so you know, all of Suzanne's products, you know, when you have to press powder together, usually um, there's a petroleum base that's used to press powders. Right. Suzanne doesn't use any petroleum base. No. She uses coconut oils and she uses um, natural powders like tapioca and bamboo. And so you don't get those normal chemicals that you get in conventional. Um, eyeshadows and things and that may be what you find irritating it could be the artificial colors that you're finding irritated irritating and Suzanne uses minerals in her eyeshadow so that's where you get those um, you know the beautiful charcoal and that beautiful cocoa brown color I mean, who does this nobody's gone to the extent that we've gone to but I too I get very allergic I used to think that I was allergic to all metallics until I realized you know, I was allergic to um, commercial metallics because it is actually metal we use minerals for our shimmer. But anyway, I, I lined my eyes today with the black. 
I mixed this and that together to create my uh, shadow. I like, I still, you know, we kind of get stuck in the makeup we did at, at our prime and in the 70s we did, we did this shadowing, you know, down the nose like this and the deep dark corners. So that's Nancy sort of loves the, the eyeshadow. So. Well, you got everything you need here. Yeah. And I was just on a trip, um, and um, I had I had everything I needed except they took it away from me in Poland at the TSA. But that's a long story. Mm. Why was that? So um, just a reminder, you guys, anything you buy today in makeup is twenty five percent off. So if you go to SuzanneSummers.com, you can take a look at all of Suzanne's organic makeup. It's called Suzanne Organics Cosmetics. And 25% off that category, you're going to enter promo code MAKEUP25 at checkout. And if you get your cart up to $50, and that's with anything at SuzanneSummers.com, you, you can go to skincare or supplements, whatever you want, you're going to get this free multi-stick. Will you hold that up, Suzanne, the multi-stick? Uh, yes. This beautiful multi-stick. Free. Yeah, this is for cheeks, lips, eyes. It's like a beautiful bit of summer on your skin it just has a beautiful glow it's a very um universal color so and it's it good works. on aging hands yeah if your skin is light toned this is going to be great if you're medium toned yeah. if you're dark if you have dark skin this is going to work great um okay Dina now this. Wants to see the foundations here are the colors um Dina. okay sand honey that i have on today and bronze that I wear when I'm at the beach. So the porcelain, if you're one of those people who has very fair skin, that's going to be your color. If you're medium tone, the sand or the honey, are those are the most popular colors. That's what's going to match most people's skin tone is the sand that's or the, the honey. That's the bronze, so even the dark isn't all that dark. And it kind of turns your skin the color your skin wants to be too, which is a good thing. Yeah, and we have, um, you know, this, this bronze color I would say goes, if you have fairly dark skin, um, if you are light skinned black or a, a, deep, um, a okay. deep brown skin, mm -hmm. sorry, I'm just tripping over here, that color should blend well for you. Um, we don't have a darker color yet. We have very high minimums on this makeup, so it's difficult for us to get as many colors as we would like to because we just don't go through them. Um, but it's something that we keep saying, like, ah, can we just get a small run of a, of a darker color so that we can match everyone's skin tone? Bronzing powder. I love this. Oh, this is a great product. Mm -hmm. I like to uh, bring it down on my neck because as you get older, your neck starts betraying you. And if you keep it, you know, shadowed, it makes it look like it's betraying you less. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Um, Regina, um, again, asking about would you know would our colors work for women of color this bron the dark bronze might work for you again because it blends with the skin tone so it's going How to give you that it's is. not like oh that is beautiful is that pretty it's not giving you a heavy coverage um it's really um it's going to blend with your skin tone so i would try it and if it doesn't work send it back this is also this is the um, antique rose but it I, this this is like great on your skin color, isn't it, Caroline? It is. This is like a little bit more mauve. All you Italians, this is the a good Italian color, and here's the I really my my, my favorite um, for my skin tone is the berry pop. I love the berry pop too. Suzanne usually goes a little bit more in the neutral coral, which is that why Barbie. The, I like that Barbie doll look. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the here's my the Barbie coral doll crush mm -hmm. or the caramelized peach. Mm -hmm. I go for the, a little more of the pink berry. Oh, tone. this is the caramelized peach. Right? Yes. Yeah. Right. So the, I love the caramelized peach for every day. I love it. I love this. The, this is the berry coral crush. Coral crush. I love that. And so the next love, row, actually, the middle row, can you just point to the berry pop, that one? This, this is, is my berry color. berry pop. I wear that one, too. Yep. And then next to it is the honey glow. Which I also wear. The only one I don't really wear is the antique rose. It's a little uh, dark on You me. don't do well with the dusty colors. I don't. If you're someone who likes a little more dusty. Other than the outside of my house is dusty pink. Um, we have a lot of people asking about eyeliner. We have discontinued our eyeliners. Um, we just were finding that the quality wasn't quite there. We couldn't get the pigment. We couldn't get it that, but I find I do better with a thin brush and just, um, you know, just put your eyeliner on this way. Mm -hmm. I, I, I actually kind of really like this. You guys know what Suzanne says? She's away. not going to sell you an organic version of something unless it's as good or better yeah. than the conventional. Well, I was never happy with our other eyeliner. I kept trying to be happy with it. 
but it didn't, I couldn't get that, you know, you, you line your eyes for punch. I can get the punch with, with this right here. These um, eyeshadows are very heavy in pigment, so don't just get a little on your brush, tap the excess yeah. off, because they really, um, they it's a surprising amount of pigment for an organic product. So great, so, so great. great to have eye, eye makeup that won't make your eyes run and tear and everything. Now, if your eyes are running and tearing, it's because of the pollen that's in the air everywhere this spring. Get our nasal renew, which we don't have here today, but I save somebody from allergies pretty much every day with nasal renew. Do you? I had, oh, the, yeah. I had nasal renew with me on this trip in um, uh, Poland and Jerusalem. I was giving out nasal renew to everybody because there's so much pollen everywhere and people are like that. And uh, the same thing would happen. They come, wow, that stuff really works. Because they don't believe it can't work because it's not over the counter. It's safe. I say it's like eating parsley. It's so good for you. It's a probiotic for your nose. So um, so back to the eyeliner. Oh, Carrie, yeah. Carrie was just saying that she was having a problem with hers breaking off in the sharpener. And we were having that problem yeah. too. So we just tried. so you guys know, when we really Suzanne, tried. If, like when we say Suzanne will not sell something unless she uses it herself and loves it. She just called me. She's like, I I'm sorry, this eyeliner is not good enough. No. So we're not selling it anymore, no. and that's why. But but uh, this is. This is. I have it on right now. And if I wanted to do full out Vegas, you know, I could go much more intense with this. I could take the dark and really bring it all, really make that black up in there. Yeah. Um, so I can do anything I want with this. I've got the, uh, I can mix these shadows together to like create a lighter color. I can get every color I want out of here. Yeah, I love, I love this. I love this. natural or Trip? evening? You got, I'm your... just gonna pop in for a second because me with my Italian. Look skin how cute tone. she looks. Look how cute Hi, my daughter-in-law looks. Yeah, I'm Caroline. I'm the voice yeah. that sometimes you hear back. Then. And she's the president of our company. I'm also that. And I chose her for everything, for Bruce's wife, for president. For my friend, for my daughter, <laughs> cooking partner, cooking partner. Wow, do we cook together? Goofball. I know we've got we have some fun cooking shows coming wow. up. Yeah, this is very pop. Mm -hmm. This is what I use. Yeah, you not want a mirror? Um, I've been doing this every day for a long time, but I can. Oh, this thing's. It's amazing how a little pop of color on your cheeks yeah. does it. It like wakes you up. It makes you look awake. Oh, back to my sleep last night. I know it's not about makeup. I get off point all the time. We took a Epsom salt bath together last night. Where'd the eye primer go here? It was, a, uh, I put four cups of Epsom salt into the tub for the two of us. Nice. And we kept adding hotter and hotter and hotter water that you couldn't get in initially, but when you're lying there, you acclimate. We, we went to bed, I guess, around eight. I woke up at seven. He, I had to oh, wake him nice. up. That was so great. Yeah. I think that was the sleep that did it. That was the sleep oh, that got us. Back yeah, I'm back. Track. I'm back. I feel good again. I have energy again. So, um, so I have a big problem with under eye circles. It's a hereditary thing. Mm -hmm. Whatever. It's the Abe Vigoda thing. My... You're not Abe Vigoda, but remember <laughs> Abe Vigoda? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. see those ads where they got that man with the big Abe Vigoda bags under his eyes. Yeah. Oh yeah. But that's like a preparation H which they're putting on there. Yeah, and it's you know, it's not the real It's chemical. Deal. It's chemical. If you have very the, pop for me. This is the makeup that hides that. But if you have um, dark circles and fat bags under your eyes, our app, uh, what do we call it? The stem cell a a apple eye oh, cream. The aquapeptide. Oh, the stem cell. I thought you were talking about the. No. No, the. The, um, the anti-aging eye cream. The, anti-aging eye cream, which is made with alpine rose stem cells. I climb up, climb up to the Alps all the time and collect all these stem cells for you. I go the full mile. I'm lying, but it's a good story. But anyway, I always talk about, <laughs> I saw the pictures of alpine rose, uh, roses uh, hanging off a cliff in the Himalayas or where, wherever they are. In the Alps. Alps. In the Alps. <laughs> I haven't been. I don't know where she flips cotton. I don't know where things are unless I've been there. Now I know where Jerusalem is. Okay, yeah, and it's a long ways away from Tel Aviv. I learned that, and I know where the West Bank is. I didn't know things like that. I got to be there to make it. Ah, and then it makes sense. Anyway, um, uh, th this little rose hangs off the side of the cliff in the Alps, covered and crusted in snow and ice, and survives. And that is why those stem cells are so hardy and so strong, and that's why they work so well for the eye cream that we use. So, 
excuse my embellishings on having climbed to the top of the Alps. Only Heidi does that. Coral crush, mm -hmm. caramelized peach. That's mm -hmm. this woman here, mm -hmm. yes. little honey glow. Mm -hmm. She's got her honey foundation on. Mm -hmm. I have on the sand foundation. I am in the berry pop she cheeks is. and lips. And A little nice. honey glow on the thing. The eye primer I have on my eyes and the multi-stick as a little highlighter right here. You look here. great. Well, thank you. I like your outfit. Well, thank you. You look really cute. She drove here in the rain this morning. There's torrential. nothing. There's nothing this woman won't do. Oh, uh, yeah, torrential. And here we are in the desert. It's thinking about it. There's some dark clouds above, but not really, not really. It's not going to rain in the desert. It's so beautiful here. Um, soon we'll move back to Malibu, but I'm just kind of squeezing as much as I can out of the desert while we're still here. So, um, Well, again, for those of you who might be joining us late, it's a big sale on Suzanne Organics Cosmetics today. You can go to SuzanneSummers.com, pick up any of these products in cosmetics for 25% off. That, make, that promo code is MAKEUP25. And if you spend $50 anywhere at SuzanneSummers.com, you're going to get that free multi-stick, which is a universal color, great on everyone, organic, just beautiful colors. It just has a little bit of shimmer, and um, you're going to love it. Now, wasn't I the hit of the tour in Poland and um, Jerusalem? because you know my husband is allergic to perfumes and so many of you who have allergies you usually the people that carry the HLA gene if you ever have a blood testing done check check for your HLA if you are um, HLA it means that you're genetically more susceptible to toxins and chemicals we're all getting hit but you go down first like, like you're the canaries in the in the coal mine so when Alan's around anyone wearing perfume, and I remember Tom Ford made me that beautiful perfume that was just so incredible, he can't be around it because there are chemicals in perfume, but not this. How about wild orange vanilla? So I would be putting this on as we're walking around and people would, on the same tour with me, go, what is that? So I was giving this out like candy. The ambassador to I have a couple questions for you when you have okay. a Okay, the ambassador to Germany, Ambassador Grinnell, is in love with vanilla cream. And it's, it's a good unisex. Oh. Um, oh so, so great. Kathleen might would like to know if you can use the multi stick for lips. Yeah, you can. If you just want a shimmer of color, yeah. I at seventy two need a little more for my lips than that, but um, you know your lip coloring. Something about as you get older, your lips get lighter and lighter. And so um, I don't wear lipstick every day, but I, I put something on every day, something to give it a little punch. Now back to, so the ambassador to Germany is wearing vanilla cream, and he wrote me yesterday about it. Uh, lemon Blossom, that's being worn by the ambassador to Portugal, who I had a lot of fun with. And then I gave Sweet Rose to the ambassador to France, Jamie McCourt, who's actually a girlfriend of mine from Malibu. I can't, it's so, I, where I'm with her, I'm thinking, how, what, a, what a wild transition from living in Malibu, and she and her husband owned the Dodgers, and they uh, had a divorce, and then she was asked to be ambassador to France, and there she was, this girl I've known for so many years. Anyway, I gave her this and she loved it. So I just want you to know the ambas what the ambassadors are wearing. <laughs> Debbie mm -hmm. Isaman wants to know if she should order the foundation in both honey and sand. Well, I was saying earlier that I use I use both. You know, um, I take I take the the darker of the two. The that's the honey, and I bring it all over. And then on my eyelids, I put the lighter color here. And then I take this this. If you only buy one thing. Buy the concealer, the concealer, either in the medium dark or the um, the medium light medium light medium, or this great little stick. This is called eye primer. Eye primer, but you can also use it for these nasty little marks we get here and there. It's all about hiding stuff. These little veins. I got a little vein there. What's that about? I know. Anyway, cry me a river. <laughs> 
This, if you only hey, buy one how, thing. How did, you, how did you guys like that picture we posted yesterday? That's one of our new pictures. I hadn't seen it. Yes, you have. Had, had I? You just had so many pictures that you I looked at that. It. I went, holy crap. I liked it so much, I was like reluctant to use it. I know. And then I realized, like, well, you I know. Have the pictures, that you would have been them. a good book cover, too. I asked you about that. I didn't, but I didn't That's know. That's why I didn't want to use it, because I was like, are you sure you don't want this as a book cover? I but don't you had, I thought it, you had said before that it was too magazine y. That it looked more like don't, a magazine-y cover. Caroline, but, don't listen to me. Well, <laughs> if you want me to send that as a select, i got to pull it off Facebook. Because, you well, know, no one likes to... It. It. Well, it yeah. doesn't matter. I can yeah. still do that. They're not going to know we used it. They're not watching our you Facebook. You want me to send that one? Yeah, I, not them. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, you... I'd rather us take a stab and see what it would look like first. Okay. Let's keep it to ourselves. Don't tell them. It looks a You're little more watching, like a... Um, like I a, look like an interior design cover. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it doesn't it's, really look like it's a medical actually, book cover. You know, you're right. So let's not do it. It's a it is a magazine cover. But wow, I don't usually uh, ooh and all over pictures of myself. In fact, I'm very critical. But I went. It was what is funny because I sent her that photo and I said, <laughs> "Okay, here's the post that we're working on for tomorrow. This picture is great, but do you want to use this for a Facebook live ad, or should we save this? Would you consider this as a book cover?" And she sent me back. Wow, that's beautiful. It's like, <laughs> yes, but you didn't answer any of the questions. <laughs> and sometimes this is where Caroline just has to make a decision. Uh, but see, the like, thing is, when I don't answer hers, because she'll make the right decision. Yeah. So I'm, I just posted I'm in it, such and good I'm so hands. happy to see it. I'm in such good hands. That I, that I know. I don't worry about a thing with her. Well, and also when they said yesterday the book wasn't going to be published until January, I'm like... Yeah. Well, yeah. we should use these yeah. pictures. Hey, here's Al. Come hey. on, hey, Come Al. on in the shot, Al. Okay. Al's, so, Al's Diana in... ordered the foundation in light for her daughter, and she loves how natural it is. She has yeah. celiac disease, and oh, so good. this is a great, clean no, product. Nothing bad is going to end up in her GI tract. How's and your GI tract, These products are gluten-free, guys. I haven't checked it today yet. So. He has, you, you know, cute, with everybody, oh. with all their gut problems, none, none. None. You're the healthiest, healthiest person I know. It's like it's unbelievable. I'm the only person. In fact, know. on this uh, this trip with these ambassadors, um, that um, what was his name, Shalom? He kept yeah. worrying about you and Alan be picking up the luggage, and he'd go, No, 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 I'll do it, because Shalom's like uh, half Alan's age. And I went, You know, <laughs> Al prides himself that he can pick up everybody's luggage at 82. This is not what 82 is supposed to look like, but this is what 82 looks like when you... When you live with Dr. Summers. So when you live this and life Dr. that... Dr. Summers looks after I you. I do. I take, I take good care of you. I want you around forever and ever. And um, I, I... This whole journey that you've come on with me is real and passionate, and I think we're the ones who are going to thrive and survive. I really do. And it all started a number of years ago looking at the present paradigm of aging, which is awful. It's decrepit, frail, it's uh, one of the three, heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, or all three, and then ending up in the nursing home. I thought, that's not right. And that's just in our generations because your parents' generation didn't die like that. Like no. your mom died at home. Right. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Not that we're talking about dying, but um, this new thing that's happened, this long, slow death. I know a lot of you are, uh, somebody you love is experiencing that. What we're trying to do here, and I know we're selling makeup, but makeup's a part of it, is grab it and not go that way. So if you use makeup like this, that's not all loaded with chemicals and toxins and parabens and things that will end up in your, ultimately end up in your bloodstream and end up in your brain, causing that thick, foggy thinking. There's just, there's a new way to do this whole thing a new way to age yeah and Suzanne's um, cosmetics guys again no pegs no parabens no artificial colors no artificial fragrances she doesn't use any petroleum um, to press her powders she uses coconut oil um, they are beautiful clean products but she uses them because they are as good as the conventional products. I was gonna put some makeup on Al but I can't do it he just looks so yeah great. he looks really good he doesn't need any makeup. <laughs> you don't need any makeup. Okay. Yeah. 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 I was kind of looking forward to it. You can, you you can just multi stick like him. I, yeah, he yeah. just likes when I touch his face. Yeah. So you want me to just touch Call your face? Call me crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can touch my face all day. We have a lot of friends jumping in on these great products today. Um, the powders up front this is the light powder. Pressed powder, this is the medium. Isn't it pretty when you see it all laid out like this? Yeah. yeah. In the back here, this really is the desert line. shimmer. 
bronzer. That's this. And this here. is Suzanne's eyeshadow quad, which Incredible. can go from incredible, very like simple day Vegas. to very dramatic yeah, smoky Vegas. eye. Yeah. These are her beautiful foundations, um, in four colors. That's the porcelain, sand, honey, and bronze. We didn't talk about the powders. The powders are great. There's no glue in them. Why would I even have to say that? The reason your pressed powder is pressed is because they put glue in it. And you petroleum. Want, and petroleum. You want glue and petroleum? Gasoline on your face? Where's that going to end up? Up here. Um, this is made with um, bamboo powder, primarily. And there's one downside to it that we don't have any glue. That if you drop it, it will kind of break up. But what's the antidote to that? It's yeah. If you ever drop a compact and it breaks up, just put one little dropper full of rubbing alcohol, and it will pull it back together. Come back together again. So it's not all lost. But I love the idea that there's nothing. In. These are our four colors. Oh. This, that, that's those four, and then oh. these are the powders. Okay. And here's the bronzing. Kathleen, the, the, the link to order is right in this at the top of this post, and it's SuzanneSummers.com. And can I say again? The uniqueness of our blushes. Put one on. I love this. Yeah, it matches your shirt too. Lemon zest. Um, our blushes are made from the colors of nature: oranges, strawberries, raspberries, uh, pomegranates, etc. Why, why do you put that? Like, that's a weird place to put. Where? Like, on your mustache. So that's... I can smell it. <laughs> Isn't that the whole idea? Well, people usually put. Cologne, like behind the ears, oh. on the is Al, yeah. Does Al ever do what people usually do? Ever? <laughs> ever? That's he, great. He wanted the, the, the most direct contact. <laughs> I love these. Yeah, I love them too. I also, um, I have some frankincense oil, which uh, every night before we go to bed, I, I put it here and here. I go, I know you, just like baby Jesus. Aww. And then he goes to sleep. <laughs> well, we, we actually got close to baby Jesus, didn't we? I touched, oh my God, I was able to touch the very spot that Jesus was born. And then you turn yeah. around and right there is the very spot where Mary and Joseph knelt in front of the manger. And it's mind blowing. My hands felt like they were electric. Wow. It was really something. And um, we both were moved. Bethlehem was yeah. very moving. Although when you go into Bethlehem, that uh, is under uh, control of That's the West Bank. West Bank, and suddenly there's a lot of machine guns and things around, um, which is a little disconcerting. But there was also a, a strange kind of safety because it's the pilgrimage to that church where um, these two holy spots were, and everybody mm -hmm. they're they're very respectful on all sides of the holy spots, right. which was good. When we walked up the the stone steps where Jesus carried the uh, the cross, the stations of the cross, the 12 times he stopped. I thought it was 14. 14. And then there was two more. That now they, you understand <laughs> why you're an ex. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I, I, even I, I knew it was 14. I was, I was never very good at that, but I was very and moved. I knew it was 14. It's just a number thing. It's just, just a, a number yeah, thing. Okay, yeah. 14. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I got so tired at 12. <laughs> I got tired at 12. I, I, I actually got tired at 12, and I said, how many more <laughs> of these things do we have? And is it only two more? <laughs> anyway. Um, but you were called halfway through. Yeah. We found a guy oh. who was freshly juicing pomegranates and, and oranges. oranges together. That oh, was wow. good. Yeah. Oh, I would have paid him $1,000 Yeah, that, that. That, was, that was actually the highlight of the trip for you was that glass <laughs> right. of juice. And he was starting to run out of gas. He was getting really tired. I'll be right with you. Well, and it was hot. It was hot and, and, dry. and dry and tired. And that, like, rejuvenated him. Yes, Karen. Yeah. A couple questions coming in. Not that like, yeah, this story is incredible, but I want to make sure we answer these for these people. Bella wants to know what I used for my dark circles. Um, Bella, you can use the eye primer or the the concealer in the light color that's what i would use for that um, i can't live without these yeah amazing and i don't so much have um, dark circles as i use it as a highlighter i love it love it so anyway we get up i'm i'm walking up where jesus carried the cross and i'm moved oh unbelievable i'm deeply deeply moved but at the same time i'm looking at its same stones not they haven't redone wow. it. These are the same stones. So you're going, am I, am I walking? And then I thought he had to have just terrible shoes on or no shoes. No shoes. And he was all beat up and bloody. 
and he had a cross on his uh, back. And I'm in my Prada boots and I'm having a hard time thinking, how did he do this? But you get up to the top where Calvary was and now it's, it's, a, um, it's a conglomeration of all the faiths up there. There's the Greek Orthodox. There's um, the whatever, uh, whatever Islam Christianity, Islam Christianity, Judaism. Every, it's all there. I know yeah. it was interesting. Yeah, it was all. Everybody was mixing and getting along, and everybody. It's and you realize we both talked yeah. about that. Yeah. This is how it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like you that know we can have differing beliefs, yeah. but so what? It's like Jerusalem, where mm -hmm. you've got Muslims, Jews, and Christians mm -hmm. all living together. Yep. And working together, liking each other. Right. They're all they're all liking each other, yeah. and uh, like our driver was um, from Palestinian. Right. And then I mean, it's just like it, what an amazing experience. It's supposed. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. How did we get so off track? All respecting one another. Yeah. And all respecting one common. another, and when you're there and all these different faiths are there, I, I don't care what you believe. I don't care what you believe. This is just yeah. nice that we're all together here. And then, and isn't it interesting that the center of all of those disparate religions yeah. is all at the same place? At the so same it makes you wonder place. If maybe the storytellers just told slightly different stories totally. as it went down. Totally. The road. You know, we, I, I think we all need to believe what we believe, yeah. and it's important to have a belief system. Yeah. But respecting other people's beliefs Absolutely. as long that, as they're that was the know, overriding feeling yeah. I got there. Total respect yeah. for everybody and everybody's yeah. beliefs. You know the. Uh, the, the really memorable, one of the really memorable experiences for me, what? aside from going to from, the wall, as, which I did. As, aside from the orange juice with pomegranate. Right. <laughs> was uh, we were taken to the that excavation site, which was not open to the public, and which appeared in the Old Testament, that had Jesus walking from City one of place David to, to the another. Temple Mount. Okay. And it, we were in this tunnel On that his... was unbelievable. Okay. It hasn't been revealed yet. Yeah. And then... I have a rock. I took a rock. No, it was just a rock. <laughs> I also took one from Auschwitz and Birkenau. Were you supposed to? He's a rule breaker. No, no. I don't it, do anything I'm not supposed to. It was just a rock to. laying yeah, on the ground. I know. I okay. Know. Well, um, that walking on that road that is newly... They found... Yeah. They keep finding these things underground. Right. I'm really sorry, but this woman needs the discount code. I'm not yes. trying to be disrespectful because no. this is an important conversation. Mm -hmm. Kathleen, the discount code is MAKEUP25. She's in the middle of her cart, and she like, I'm oh, sorry, Kathleen. Yeah. Um, didn't, your, didn't your mother want to name you Kathleen or your father? Yes. Um, yeah. Kathleen, it should apply to the oils because they sent them here with cosmetics. So if it doesn't, just oh, get the oils, Kathleen, and tell them that Caroline said that it counts in the 25% off today. Um, this yeah. is where you go, guys, SuzanneSummers.com, promo code MAKEUP25. Everything in cosmetics is 25% off, and the free gift is anything that you spend $50 on, you're going to get that multi-stick, which is beautiful. Okay, so if somebody decided to buy everything here, okay, would they get a free gift for every $50 of what they're spending? If they broke it into a number of payments and just paid $50 times 7 payments, then they could get all of those free there gifts. There you go. Okay. You guys are crafty. We know. <laughs> we know. And whenever, like, there's one guy in our company who's like, somebody's getting a double dip. And I was like, who cares? Yeah. Let them feel that way. Yeah, win. exactly. We don't care. Yeah. We don't care. If you figure out how it, to get more than the company one, is, free gifts, is go for us. it. This is, this is it. That's what I love about this business that we have here. It's, well, you know, the, um, guys, we don't have sunscreen right now. We are working on a new manufacturer. It's a very difficult thing, but you know Suzanne doesn't believe in conventional sunscreen. And, and there's a lot of negative information coming out on sunscreen too. Well, she's been saying it for 15 years and then of course it comes out in the news. So just in case you wonder if Suzanne's telling, telling it like it is, you guys hear it a decade before it's it true, out. isn't and it? And you're writing about Roundup and how dangerous these chemicals are and that, oh, no, it's safe for human consumption. No, no, it's safe for human consumption. So they're spraying with Roundup and they've, they're they selling it. But you can use it in your backyard. They're also growing it into our food. So when Suzanne's talking to you about organics and corn and soybeans and not having, those are Roundup-ready foods. So, you know, when you see all of a sudden there's a $2 billion 
in you know last week. Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah. how many suits are there now? That's there? that's the second or third big uh, lawsuit. But there's now how many lawsuits? In there are eleven thousand lawsuits. And that's just the beginning. Yeah. Waiting against yeah. Monsanto. Yeah. So yeah. now they've and, proven and it. Bayer Bayer bought Monsanto, so Bayer's, that they're going. Yeah. What did we do? And I bet the Monsanto guys jumped out of that meeting going. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but they're you know I'm sure they're figuring out a way to get out of to paying these. Back, but at yeah. least yeah. at it'll, least it'll now it's on. been proven that those chemicals cause cancer. Period. You know, the, the World Health Association been saying that for years. They're known carcinogens. Yeah. Known, known. You know when the the first court awarded somebody two hundred and eighty six million dollars yeah, from in Monsanto, San Francisco. <coughs> the uh, the attorney for Monsanto actually went back to the court uh, and and was heard. And his argument against paying the two hundred and eighty six million to the guy, he said, Well he's gonna be dead soon. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, you know, Monsanto's the company that brought you Agent Orange. Yep. Um, and Malathion. Do you remember when I was a yeah. kid? Yeah. They used to tell us when they were doing the Malathion spray and they would say, Cover your cars because remember? it will eat away at your paint. But it's safe for humans. Yeah, right, yeah. right. So right. You know, when they come right. up with I Round even up. worry. I even worry that? in fires when they're dropping that red stuff over everything. What's that? Oh yeah, the fire retardant. Oh, yeah. Fire, yeah. What's yeah, that? For sure. What's worse, smoke yeah. or that? So, um, back to our makeup. What we're doing is we're just s simplifying, getting back to um, you know makeup that's made from actual strawberries and raspberries and pomegranates and and. Um, Colors tapioca from nature, powder. tapioca powder, coconut bamboo oil. powder, coconut oil, shea butter, natural Minerals. lemon, vanilla, wild orange vanilla, hey, cruelty-free brushes. Open that mascara, because mascara is oh. also one of our best sellers, because conventional mascara is made with glue. Suzanne's is not. This is a very silky um, application. No. No, no, no. I'm I mean, full transparency. This is not going to build like your glue mascaras. This is going to give you a putting, silky... Like I've got one coat on. Yeah. You keep putting coat after coat. And it comes off with the everyday <clears throat> cleanser. Just when you wash your face at night, put the everyday cleanser uh, over your eyes too and just gently rub and all your eye makeup comes up. And see, that gets it pretty thick. You know, when I watch Suzanne putting her makeup Beautiful. on, mm -hmm. I hear jungle drums beating. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Right. You know what's great about Al? I can actually do no wrong. He just thinks I'm great. You are. Um, I'm just going to say this up front because my battery is super low on the uh -huh. Instagram phone. Uh -huh. So if we lose you folks on Instagram, go to Facebook. Thanks for joining us. We're all, we're almost wrapping up anyway. Oh, okay. um, but again, just it's SuzanneSummers.com, and don't forget your promo code Makeup25 to get that 25% off. What I love and about this free gift. this uh, eye primer, yeah, here's your free gift. What I love about this eye primer, it's a little corrector thing. Like I saw that I smeared my eye makeup a little bit here. I put it there and a little bit right there. It's like a little spot corrector. You could just play with your face all day long, you know, add a little of this, add a little of that. I have bad light in my um, dressing room, bad light. It's good light because I look fabulous in it, but when I go outside, I often have <laughs> I way think, too much makeup yeah, on. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes I think building your confidence is more important than reality. Yeah, because I walk out going, I know, I look great. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I'll see a picture going, Oops, what, what is wrong with your makeup? <laughs> 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 but um, yeah. I'm really happy with that picture that we used today. I'm really happy with that. Well, good. Good. Maybe I'll make it a great new picture. profile picture. Yeah, that's a great picture. Yeah. Unless you decide you might want it as a book cover option, and then I'll save it, and I'll tuck it away, and just your few close Facebook friends... <laughs> have seen it. Yeah. So I'll think about it. You think You've about seen it. it. You've seen it. Yeah. Right. Well, right, I think well, we've gone through everything here, and uh, remember, if you only get one thing, get the concealer uh, and the little concealer... Eye primer. Eye primer, eye primer, which I call a concealer stick. And don't forget about the, um, the wild orange vanilla, the vanilla cream, the lemon blossom, and the antique rose. Is it antique rose, I think it's called? Sweet rose. Sweet rose. I was saying this, I gave one of these to each of the ambassadors that we were hanging out with most. Yeah. All right, so there are all of your beautiful colors. Everything is very neutral. It's very forgiving. But listen, if you order something, we know it's hard to order makeup online because you can't try it. Order it and try it. If you don't like it, send it back. Let us know um, and yeah. get the color that you like. Or give it to your daughter. 
or that or that yeah or that. but there's they're, they're super son. they're neutral your colors and um they blend with a lot of skin tones so we hope you enjoy playing with suzanne's makeup we fun sure have enjoyed makeup. all your beauty tips fun today, to bring suzanne. al into our makeup show absolutely caroline drove all the way down here in the rain it was pouring rain coming oh, down right. pouring she yeah said. That, that, pouring. Was not, no. that was a scary it's raining here now yeah. No. Yeah, I saw little sprinkles. Oh, well. All right, no. guys. Well, thanks for joining us today. Bye. Um, well, I love you Suzanne all. will answer follow-up questions, yes. but not until tonight because she's going into a meeting. I am. Okay. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. It is starting to rain a little bit. Yeah. No, I saw mm. sprinkles before they were gone. Mm. Well, there are a few right there. Are they increasing? Well done.